There's a rumor of a new species in New York. It can be aggressive if threatened. Spider-Man is headed back on screen to swing through the city in a new 3D interpretation of the comic book classic. The latest chapter in the superhero story focuses on the mystery of what happened to Peter Parker's parents, who vanished without a trace when he was a young boy. Now in high school, Parker discovers a trail of clues that just might help him learn his parents' fate, as well as recognize his own. As the new Spider-Man, the social network's Andrew Garfield certainly had some large shoes to fill. Garfield talked about the surreal moment of first putting on Spider-Man's suit. When you first wear it, it's like, oh, okay, here we are. This is, I, I better savor this moment. And, it, and, and it, it is a surreal thing when you see yourself embodying something that's, that's um, meant so much to you. But there, 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 was, there, there is a really interesting thing about it because it doesn't belong to you. Like, you, you very, very quickly realize that it's not, it's not you. It isn't you in the suit. It's, 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 um, it's just you doing your job, you know? It's not, um, it's actually nothing to do with you. It's, uh, the suit is what, what people love and whatever body is in that suit doesn't really matter. That's what I find so wonderful about about this character is that he is everyone's and he is everyone. Another aspect that sets the film apart from its predecessors is Parker's love interest. While audiences are familiar with Parker's feelings for girl next door Mary Jane Watson, the comic series originally paired him with Gwen Stacy, the daughter of a police chief dead set on capturing Spider-Man. Emma Stone explained what it was like being cast in this relatively unknown role. To have a father that's the police chief is, you know, it's a pretty, that's, that's a life. That's a, that's kind of a, you know, she's the oldest and, and that, you know, and, and, and therefore bears a responsibility to her father and, and, um, you kind of, is, I, I mean, I think she's responsible because of that experience of having a father like that, but I think that he's incredibly loving and, and protective of her. And so that whole element and how complicated that is to be with, who is considered the biggest villain in New York City and have your father be so against him is just, you know, that's a, that's a huge conflict. See what other plot twists the latest look at Spider-Man's story takes when the amazing Spider-Man hits theaters on July 3rd. I forgot all about that thing. It was your dad's. Your father was a very secretive man, Peter. Dr. Connors.